Hello everyone, Badjo here, and today we're going to take a look at a new little thing, the Radar 1 receiver. Uh, so when you have seen me play DCS, you have probably heard a lot of beeping sounds, and you'll be wondering why does this plane sound like a goddamn fast food restaurant? And that's because the Vigan's Radar Warning Receiver makes different sounds for different signal sources. Now you can generally divide them into four categories, I would say. You have ground radar, where you have search and track radar, and then you have airborne radar, where you also have search and track radar. And then you also have early warning radar, which is... It's not that easy to hear, but it's different. So we're going to listen to them. First one we have an early warning radar off to our right, and it sounds like this. So you can see, if you look here, you can see six directions we can detect signals, and we should get a signal from the left, I think. Yeah, so you can have a long signal, a pretty dark tone, deep tone, and it's a long, long pause between it. And that's a search radar. It's basically harmless. All it tells is that we are flying here, the enemy knows that we're flying here, so they can then warn everyone else. So you don't need to get a heart attack when you hear this sound. However, up ahead in this valley we have something a little bit more spicy. We have an SA-15 Tor, which is a very capable air defense system. So search radars are almost always very slow with a, long, with a bit of a pause between them. But this is an early warning search radar. So, it's very slow. It's slower than normal. But up ahead we have the SA-15, I think. It's... I can't exactly see it. Yeah, there it is. Quite a, just about a 5... 1 pixel size, large. <laughs> and... Uh, oh yeah, the radar warning receiver is blind in the front. Just right in the front. So it won't actually give a signal. But any moment now, there it is. So if I turn left, right, I mean, you'll hear the signal disappears. Yep, there it went for a moment. So we're gonna do an evasive roll. And that was a very high pitched, rapid beeping sound. And that's a track radar. So, when you hear that sound for like 10 seconds, then you really know that you really should have made evasive maneuvers. The thing about the Viggen, though, like many aircraft, is you only have these detector things that detect the radar energy. They are only on the wings and on the rear. And but basically what it means is that they can only detect radar waves like this. You can't detect above you or below you. So, for example, if we get detected again, fly a bit high so we can get spiked there you can hear the search radar of the SA-15 it's a long drawn out beep it's a sh short beep but it has a bit of a pause between it that's basically what signifies nearly all search radars. Every radar sounds completely differently though with a different pitch but overall they sound... they have the same frequency so they all beep. So for example here you will hear another very noticeable thing. It's a Shilka. It's a AAA gun. It makes a signal. It should ping us any moment with his radar. And this is a very there you go. Very easy to hear that signal. And if you hear that, then it's time to do evasive maneuvers because uh, AAA is locking you up and, as you can see, they're shooting at you. <laughs> so, once again, up ahead we have a different type of... Uh, Sam, an SA-8, and you will hear that it will make a very similar one to the SA-15 before. It will make a very similar sound. There's the search radar, 
and there's his track radar. So if I do this, then I can't hear him anymore. He's still looking at me. And there we go, now we can detect the signal. No, you can't, but now we're terrain masking, so you can't see me anyways. But that's basically how it works. So, like, if you come in like this, you could be like, oh, where's the radar? And then you point your aircraft at him. And now you realize, oh shit, we're picking up radar signals. And you may only have seconds to react, he's down there, by the way. So you may only have seconds to react if he's been locking you for several seconds, because you have that in your blind spot. But that's just an SA-8, so it's not that much of a threat. So, old system. And uh, finally we have an airborne radar. We have an SU-27 that's heading towards us somewhere in the sky in front of us. And he will make two different tones. Airborne radars have, as you will hear soon, let me see where it is. Oh yeah, also one thing to keep in mind, nails is there we can hear. That's his search radar, basically. He's looking for me, he may have seen me. Now he's locked me up. And that's very recognizable. It's two different tones that are alternating. But this is only if he's using single target track. So he's fired a missile at me. He's gonna hit me in a second now. There it went. I, I have immortal mode anyway, so I'm indestructible. But he's locking me up. He's trying to fire missiles. And I would have been dead there. And you can hear his search radar again. So basically, fighters can lock you up with either, like, uh, track while scan. They're locking you, but they're still searching, so you won't get any alert with modern fighters. Older fighters, however, they will make that uh, semi-active guided missiles radar will make that sound alternating ping. Now it sounds different, of course, for each aircraft. So, it's very hard to tell the difference between a friendly and an enemy fighter, for example, pinging you. Because they make pretty similar sounds to each other. And that concludes this little video, taking a look at some of the different SAMs and how the radar warning receiver generally works. But there's one more thing I want to show you, so I'm just gonna stop this here. Here we have vigantools.se on the page and turn down the volume all the way almost otherwise you'll go deaf because these signals will make your ears bleed otherwise so for example if we begin with the shilka you can hear all the different tones that they make you can hear the SA-15 tor same frequency just a different and then you have the search radar which is long early warning radar very long with an extremely long pause. Airborne search radars, which are very similar, they're not as long of a signal, not as long of a pause. <clears throat> and then you have different planes. So for example, if we compare an F-15 with an SU-27, they make a slightly different sound. So some of these planes are more recognizable than, e than some, but uh, yeah, I hope this has been useful that you learned basically the four tones. Slower, maybe longer pause, it's not as dangerous. When it's a rapid one, better get down. If you have an alternating, if you hear an alternating uh, signal, then you really better get down low or have fighter support back you up or something. The problem is, it's very hard to tell friendly from enemy with this radar signal. You know, there's nothing that really says, oh, this is a friendly one. You have to hear that yourself. And, you know, you have to have a lot of gut feeling when flying the Viggen. Like, if you get a signal from behind you and you know friendlies are behind you, then, yeah, maybe that's a friendly that's pinging you quickly. So that's something to keep in mind. Just because you hear a signal, it doesn't always mean that... It's an enemy, but it can be. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, that it was useful, and I'll see you around.
Badger out.